Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this Payback preview video. Now, Payback is the first pay-per-view following WrestleMania 33. And I don't think it's unfair to say the the card itself looks a little weak. Um, there's only been a few matches announced that have really got me interested. Um, but I think there's enough here for it to be a show that has great potential. Um, and I think the, the match in particular that stands out is the Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt House of Horrors match. Now, this is the first ever House of Horrors match. None of us know what that means. I don't think WWE knows what that means. Um, they ran a poll saying, uh, would you like to see fog? Would you like to see music? Would you like to see mirrors? Would you like to see pitchforks? Would you like to see projected images? Um, they, they don't seem to know what they're doing. The latest that I've heard is that they're, they're actually pre-recording the start. So it looks like the start is going to happen in a house of horrors somewhere or, or outside of the arena. And then somehow they're going to make their way to the arena and the match will finish in the ring. So doesn't look like it's going to be like a cage that's decorated or anything like that. Um, they are recording stuff uh, at the moment for the start of that match. But we'll get to that in a, in a bit. Let's talk about the pre-show. So on the pre-show, we've got Enzo and Big Cass against Gallows and Anderson. Now, this isn't for any title or anything along those lines. Um, really, this in a way is to decide the next number one contender. Um, and for that reason, it probably makes sense that it be Gallows and Anderson. Um, I don't see the Hardys dropping the title. So that's why I think they're going to need uh, a heel challengers. Um, so that's why Gallows and Anderson make the most sense. Next up, we've got Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight title. Now this could steal the show. Uh, they had one of the best matches at WrestleMania and they were only on the pre-show. So now they're going to be moved onto the main card. And uh, yeah, I, I think Austin Aries could do this. You know, he came up just short at WrestleMania. Um, there's no reason as to why he doesn't win it now. Um, Neville's had a good run. Personally, I'd keep the belt on Neville. Um, I think, you know, Neville's doing an awesome job. So why take the title off him? Um, but I think that WWE will put it onto Austin Aries. Next up, we've got the Hardy Boys against Sheamus and Cesaro. And this is for the Raw Tag Team Championships now. Um, I think Hardys win. I don't see any need to take the titles off them. But I think that Sheamus and Cesaro could turn heel. They've kind of been teasing it in recent weeks. There's not really a need for them to do it. Um, because I think Gallows and Anderson will be uh, the Hardy Boys' next competitors. But uh, I, I, I just think they're going to do it. I don't see any reason why they would tease it and then not go through with it. So, uh, yeah, just watch out for that. Next, we've got Seth Rollins against Samoa Joe, the Destroyer. And I am going all in on Samoa Joe. I love Samoa Joe. He's a bad man. He is a bad man. So, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm all for Joe. Um, I think uh, Seth got the victory he wanted and he needed at WrestleMania against Triple H. Um, and, you know, Samoa Joe hasn't really had a chance to show what he can do. He didn't get any match at WrestleMania, which is just incredible. So I think just give him a massive victory uh, over Seth Rollins. Clean and then you can really start to move forward with Samoa Joe. There is another moving part here that I think could be quite interesting, and that is Finn Balor. Finn Balor doesn't have a match at Payback. What if Samoa Joe is absolutely destroying Seth Rollins, which heralds the arrival of the Demon King? The Demon King has to come out and save Seth. Because of the, you know, Samoa Joe. And then that sets up this Samoa Joe, Finn Balor feud all over the summer. Next up, we've got Kevin Owens against Chris Jericho. And again, we could see Finn Balor interfere here. Because 
Owens is going to have to destroy Jericho. Jericho's done after this. He's going off with his fozzy, with his band. So this really is the, the goodbye to Jericho for a while. So Owens is going to win. He's going to win in a massive way. And maybe it makes sense to put Finn Balor in here. And maybe Finn Balor comes out, tries to help Jericho. And then that sets up a massive uh, summer uh, feud between Kevin Owens and Finn Balor. So they've certainly got options when it comes to Finn Balor. I just hope they do something. Next, we've got Bailey against Alexa Bliss. And this is hard. This is really, really hard to call. I love both of them. I think they're both uh, really talented. Um, Bailey's the champion at the moment. It is in her hometown. That makes no difference. Uh, they could still give this to Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss was a great champion uh, on SmackDown Live. Uh, Bailey's doing okay. Is it, oh, I mean, it's, oh, it's flip, flip a coin. In fact, should we flip a coin? Let me get a coin. Yeah, look at this. I don't know if you've seen this. This is the new one pound coin. I say new. It's been out for about a month now. It's nice. Right, okay, so uh, heads, Bailey, tails, Alexa Bliss. Oh, I've dropped it. Right, it was heads. So who was that? Who was that again? Next up, we got Roman Reigns against Braun Strowman, and uh, I am hoping that Strowman wins this. He absolutely destroyed Roman Reigns. Everything tells me Roman Reigns is going to win. Everything. You know, he's been absolutely destroyed, and now this is his moment to come back and, and get a victory. Um, and I think they probably will do that, but I just, I really hope Strowman wins because they need to just keep building Strowman. He's been the best thing about Raw since WrestleMania, like, by a million miles. So, uh, yeah, they need to keep building Strowman. And then we could have Strowman against Brock Lesnar. Last match on the card is that House of Horrors match. And I think that Bray Wyatt wins. This is a Raw show. It's not for the WWE Championship. So there's no reason as to why uh, Wyatt would lose. Um, so I think Wyatt can win this. Um, and again, maybe he keeps beating up on Randy Orton. That brings out Finn Balor. Finn Balor's then got a feud against Bray Wyatt throughout the whole of the summer. Uh, they're going to do it with someone, surely? <laughs> They've got three options there. Um, four, if you count Strowman. But, oh my God, yeah, Strowman. You could have Balor against Strowman. Braun Strowman against the Demon King. This is what I'm saying. The payback card, you look at it and you just go, eh, looks all right. But I think they've got options to make this quite, quite interesting. Um, so, and I'm really intrigued to see what the House of Horrors uh, matches like. I'm really interested to see who wins that women's uh, championship match. I think Neville Austin Aries is going to be awesome. Uh, I want to see what Kevin Owens does to Jericho to send him away for good. So, yeah, there's, there's loads happening. So, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed some of the predictions in here, then please give it a like. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.